Afternoon punters, here we are back at Mooney Valley. Um, we were here a couple of weeks ago with the Rail True, and on that day, the uh, lanes three to seven were dominant due to the um, where the tractor runs around regularly to fertilize this track. Now, this Saturday, the mooning coming up, the rail moves out three meters and gets the rail much closer to where that, that, that tractor traffic is on the track, and I'll show you in a minute where those lanes are in relation to the running rail. So hopefully when we pan the camera around here, you'll be able to um, see these tire marks. So the inside wheel is just there. So the pole's just over a meter wide, so it's a meter off the, off the um, running rail. And the outside one is out here, probably four off the fence, three and a half to four horses off the fence. Now on Saturday, particularly early in the card, I expect that the um, those lanes, so you know, it's half a horse wider than when than the leader would normally sit from the rail. Um, but I expect the good jockeys will aim for these tyre marks, and even when leading, they'll sit that little bit further away from the rail than they normally do. And the lanes that so that lane and the one sort of two outside it. So virtually one and a half horses off the inside rail and three and a half horses off the inside rail. I expect that area to dominate the card on Saturday, particularly for the first half of the card. Now, after that most recent meeting, they verde drain straight after it, which puts, a lot, puts the cushion back in the track. And um, it's still recovering from that verde draining. And there's a chance that the um, the track's a little bit loose and it might the, the traffic in the first half of the card might even things out and give the horses in the other lanes further out an opportunity but you know on balance I'm thinking that the advantage that those that those lanes I just spoke about will have will last the whole card is is really what I'm thinking now once you get outside that that lane I talked about which is three and a half off the rail the wider you go the more cushion in the track which is you know that cushion is what I spoke about at the last meeting that was you know the inside two meters of the track and then out past seven so um, uh, I, I, now in the home straight it's a bit more even they'll be out once they actually get around the turn they can spread out a bit more and there'll be opportunities in different lanes but the part of the, the track where this lane I'm talking about one and a half to three and a half from the where the where the rail is it's particularly critical on the side of the track so we're, that's where I'm standing right now we're sort of at about the 500 meter mark the schools directly behind me and I think on this part of the track if you're getting forced wider than four wide you're going to have a lot of issues so um, uh, now what that means in terms of races and uh, backing any horses on Saturday. Uh, I haven't done enough for me to know, so I'll do another video probably tomorrow, just previewing a couple of races. Um, and I just want to let everyone know that there's a, uh, I've got a, um, a new YouTube channel and a new website. So it's Darren Potter Race Assessment. So you can go and check out everything I've got to offer at um, darrenpotterraceassessments.com.au. Um, and uh, if you've got any questions or anything you want, you want to get in contact with me, there's, a, there's the uh, opportunity to contact me through that web page. So um, that'll do for now, and uh, I'll, uh, as I said, I'll do a preview for a couple of races tomorrow. Thanks, punters.